Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Inscription. I want to do another zero cost deck. And I want to keep fish. I think that's probably a good cheap 20 points. Do we want to try totem battles or do we want to try stronger creatures? Totem battles is technically five more challenge points, but... In a lot of situations, these don't matter. So we'll take the plus one, plus one. I will also take no rares, tipped scales, expensive pelts, no fish hook, and I think I needed more items on the last run. A few extra items would have probably saved me, so let's do no rerolls and we'll go for the items and actually try to keep a backpack stocked up on squirrels and magpie glasses and such. Rabbit, tadpole, geck, rabbit pelt, rabbit pelt. We're gonna be looking to upgrade these pelts as soon as possible. Actually, you, actually, you know what? I think we should have the annoying sigil because all of the free cards are gonna be sacrificed. I, I'm actually gonna just restart this one. Yes, all of the cheap cards are gonna be sacrificed immediately to play other things, right? So we'll take plus one, plus one, annoying squirrels. And then expensive pelts, we get to keep the fish hook to start with and re-rolling as well. I think that's probably a smart idea. What? Your predecessor gave up too easily. Less pelts for you. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was, oh, you piece of garbage. All right, well, now we have an opossum in the deck, but at least it's a one-off. <laughs> the Norse says, you will love the last challenge. Will I really love the last challenge? All right, we get one card. Field mice or sharks? Give me sharks. Shark attack. I love sharks. Uh, we could buff the sharks or we could go for a totem. I'm okay buffing the shark. If we can get it to five, da well, we have to get it to six damage. I think. Uh, it's never gonna take damage unless it spikes. We could buff another unit, I guess. Like, do you wanna buff the tadpole to remove it? The geck, the possum? I mean, a one five with two bones is not a bad play, I don't think. Here you go, how about this? All right. You know, it gets that uh, that card out of my deck, I suppose. And if we can, if we can keep the deck to always have four cards, <laughs> we're all, actually, you know what? We're not guaranteed to draw enough on turn one for the Great White, I don't think. Although, it has been explained to me that you are, you are guaranteed on turn one to always draw a card that has a, at least one blood sacrifice if there's one available in your deck. So maybe maybe you could synergize off of that or something, I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to Great White, and I will murder that Elk Fawn next turn. Clonk. And we're gonna murder that Elk Fawn as well. One thing that I need to do in this game, and I know I need to do it, is I need to... learn the fights. Because I think on this fight, maybe that Elk Fawn always spawns behind where the Elk Fawn is moving to, setting up the overkill turn. And if that's the case, then there's a lot of these little tricks that you could probably use to engineer better victories in this game, which I'm not doing. Because it, it definitely feels like that happens, like that, all the time. I really don't want to make the shark annoying, but we can add another card and then do a merge. Hopefully. Dire wolf pup? I mean, on a shark, that's pretty funny. But... Huh. 
How often do you use teeth? They're just there for morale, says the Noor. I definitely do not use enough teeth, I think. <laughs> dire Wolf Pup is always, always a good card to see early, but I think I would like to just merge it. Because otherwise, like, I don't think we can get rid of another card. Can we put Tadpole? I guess, you know what, we could put Tadpole in a Gek, but then we're not necessarily guaranteed the Great White early. Yeah, give me a Dire Wolf Puppy in a Great White. Now we generate bones and then it, it becomes a, well, it becomes the ultimate shark. Dun-dun, dun-dun, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. I do love this turn one, though, of immediate Great White. That is pretty good. Now, can we keep our deck thin enough that we get this every turn? I don't know. Maybe we should have kept the shark open for a uh, greater white. <laughs> I love it. Maybe we could have kept the shark open for like a bifurcation or something, but... This is, uh, this is good enough. He's also giving me lots of bones. I need another unit, though, because if we, uh, go up against the trapper, we need to be able to do damage. So I'm gonna go the middle path and take an expensive card, hopefully. Because we can pretty much afford it, although we could take something that requires bones. Give me an expensive, it's a great white. <laughs> All right, well, I know what this deck is, it's sharks. Damage up. Um, I mean, dun 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 dum 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 this could be removal. Uh, are we okay removing a unit? Or do we want to... I don't think we need to buff the Great White. Like, I think four damage is probably enough. This Great White doing six means it could do a... Uh, or it could kill a mole. But I think... Maybe just... Dumping a free card? Although, the free cards are, allow us to play the Great Whites, right? I'm gonna buff this one. Seagus Jr. says, I thought those guys effed off after they ate a unit. Only if they eat a poisoned unit, they eff off. Or so I, so I hear. Yeah, because like, the turn one, when you get the free cards, is a lot of fun. Five damage is a one turn kill, but not when you have minus one on the scale, unfortunately. We're probably gonna get more units soon, I imagine. No, did I not have plus one enabled? No, I do, more difficult. We're just not seeing anything that's more difficult. Weird. I still need other cards that can attack. Um, we don't need items. I'm gonna go left. I would love a cockroach. Elkhart Coyote. Flying. Egg. Moving. Coyote. Moosebuck, Elk, Grizzly. It's another strong unit, but do we need another strong unit? Probably not. Although a grizzly shark would be very funny. Uh, I mean, honestly, I guess we'll take another expensive unit. Uh, And then we could I don't know.
We need more units for this guy. That's the problem. We need things that can do damage. I basically just have sharks. <laughs> Phase two of this fight is going to be very annoying, but I guess I can steal his units. Um, merging, merging, merging. Honestly, I might take the pack rat. Later, we can put it inside of something else. If we get plus health, what are we doing? We're probably going to upgrade one of the cheap units. If we merge, we could merge a cheap unit onto the grizzly. Can't we? I'm going to... Gonna go left and I'm gonna There are no compatible sacrifices. It won't work. I was kinda hoping it would let me leave. I don't know, uh I can make a Great White annoying. <laughs> I could merge the annoying cards here. I could put the Great White on the Grizzly Bear and... Oops, hold on. That way we still have two good cards and the Grizzly Bear is just kind of there, I guess. I don't know. I, I feel like removing a free card might interrupt the balance that we have. This is very weird though. Like. I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I like the deck, though. Plus health. Yeah, this run is just weird. I will try and buff a unit, though. Okay, now it did get removed, but... Hey, we removed an expensive card and a cheap card. That doesn't affect things, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed, hope for the best. Should have taken the pack rat. All right. Well, I can still get the grizzly out, but again, I gotta work through the, uh, the traps. Boom. Right, it made him annoying. I forgot about that. I can just use the hook if I have to on this fight. I could turn one. I could turn one, but I think I would much rather chill. I'm not worried about turn one or phase one. I'm worried about the second part. We should have two wolf pelts. If I get a great white out, that means we should be able to kill on the first turn of the second phase. So we'll do a squirrel and a, don't misplay, squirrel and a squirrel. And if we great white, this should be a turn one KO on the second phase, which is the only thing I was caring about. And we didn't even lose any of our uh, big expensive units, which is nice. There you go. Strange choices, like you actually have an opinion. Even with the mole, it's fine, because we killed him in one hit, but... I guess theoretically you could have taken the mole and then you would have gotten a combo kill and killed two units, but we already killed two units, so... Elk, worker ant, dire wolf, pup. I have a four card deck. 
Pop. Ooh. I mean, we have... <laughs> we got a mushroom, we got a merge, card selection, upgraded card choice. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff here. Start with this. Please give me blood cost, because I can guarantee, essentially. Actually, with four, unless we draw only these three cards, we're screwed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We we can literally not lose this one, so we'll go for the sigil. Although I think we can win any of them. Literally the worst draw. Still win. Raccoon Heart Mantis with sacrificing? How does that work? I mean, I think it Mantis. It is weird, but it's a good card. We have a merge coming up. Dude, you put the wolf pup into the mantis. That is that is just what you do. You can't! It's already got sigils, never mind. It would be like Gek into the wolf pup, which is not ideal. Hmm. So maybe you go left and you try to get another card, but we still have to do a merge at some point. Uh, now we're starting, starting to get to the point where we're losing progress. Maybe not, maybe this is still fine. I got an idea. That's my idea. We actually do start with the mantis. It will move though, and it will die to the porcupine. And we can't get our Grizzly or Great White out on this turn. But we can get them out on the next turn, so we can play the Mantis now. One. Two. We have to use the Squirrel next turn, but we can still do it. Actually, we... Do? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Mantis will live for an extra turn if I put him there, so I'm gonna do that. But I'm like, the Mantis sacrifices and doesn't get removed from the board, so maybe I can actually do it. Uh, we're guaranteed to draw a free card, because the two free cards in our deck are Gek and Rabbit, and they're the only things in the draw pile. You're gonna throw me. So let's move there. It, five, six, seven. You know what? Probably didn't need to do that, but I just want to fight the fight to be over. Oh, it didn't work. But we're fine because my units moved. We're still on exactly lethal. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We would be, yeah, this is fine. No, I am a fool. I thought we had lethal, but we had to kill the unit. We're still fine. One day I won't make so many stupid mistakes though. Kill this damn raven, it's been there for far too long. I need a bone play, I need a cockroach.
All right, well, the pliers kept me alive. Because my uh, mental math is apparently terrible. Tadpole, adder, pronghorn. We can't merge this. If we get a dupe card, it might be nice to meld, but we will get a dupe card from the mushroom men. They give you a, a duplicate of what you have in your deck, so we would get a rabbit, a geck, a great white, a grizzly, or a mantis. Black goat is what I'm interested in. Oh yes, oh yes. Such a good card. I mean, we have an expensive deck is what we have. We want, we want black goat. Oh dear, you don't. You don't have duplicates. Take one of ours, we'll use it next time. Oh, you get to pick. You get to pick. I like the goat. Mantis is pretty good though. Great White's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I'll take the goat. I could dupe the I could merge the goat. No, I think I want to go here. Put a goat inside of a geck or something. Yeah, I think this is fine. Do you even have a mantis? Yeah, I added one. I, I got this one from the cave event. We got this one for free. And it's a tappable mantis that moves, which is not great, but if we get another one, we can maybe buff it. Get campfires or something. Porcupine, rabbit, dire wolf, pup. Porcupine, rabbit, dire wolf, pup. Porcupine, rabbit, dire wolf, pup. Mantis will move if I place him in the corner, put the stump in front of the dire wolf, pup, but I want to kill the dire wolf, pup next turn. Mantis will die to the porcupine if he moves here as well. Um, Gek will buff after a turn. We can put it in the corner. It's not a not a great turn one. Not a great turn one. We're not taking much damage on this turn, but next turn we're gonna take four from the dire wolf. We have to kill it next turn. The Gek can do it, so I kinda just wanna wait and then play the Gek. Porcupine needs to die. Needs to die. If I play the Mantis here, it'll hit for one, unless we kill it with another card next turn, which is actually totally possible. I want that one damage. Got a grizzly. We actually do not need to play the grizzly. Because I like that my Gek is going to be here and get stronger. Or I could play the grizzly and then have a 4-6 that's unkillable. Yeah, why would I not do that? Sorry, Mantis. <laughs> the Mantis lives, but he's going to die. It's fine. Wolf does not bother me. It might take a turn to kill it, but it doesn't bother me. I can't play the goat. I just realized I have to wait one more turn. <laughs> now I can play the goat. Mm, we're not gonna overkill as much as I wanted though. You gave me two rats and an alpha? Strange. That was not bad at all. All right, what can we add? A bone card? No. I guess we'll take the expensive cards then. Okay, yeah, another another shark, I guess.
Got to admit, black goat in a rabbit is pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Three energy for no cost. Not bad. Car duplicator. We could dupe the rabbit. <laughs> Although we would probably prefer to dupe the Great White at this point. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Oh, you're not gonna, you are gonna die because my Great White is gonna upgrade. Gek. Gordon Gek. There you go. <laughs> I made a mistake. I realized my mistake. Now, hopefully it's been taken care of. I like this deck. It's a good one. <sighs> we definitely want to dupe something. And I think it's the Great White. Let's be honest. It's a good card. Hey, Draft RG, thank you for the resub, by the way. Let me hear a caca mm, for Draft, thank you. Field mice duplicates. Duplicate Great White, duplicate Goat. Two cost card, it's not bad, but we could reroll it. Your deck is so tiny, says the Nor. <laughs> this is the, this might be the smallest deck I've ever had. I don't know. It feels good though, because it is small and tiny and thin. But I know how to use it. Fe I like field mice, because you get two. I'm gonna reroll. <laughs> bees! Did someone say bees? Taking the beehive. <laughs> Did someone say bees? Because here's my here's my plan, okay? Put the black goat in the bees, it can block shots and and or be sacrificed. That's my thinking, okay? We need a bee intervention, says the Nor. I do like my bees. I'm sorry. It's a higher damage Great White. I've never seen this change the cost. I've seen it change the numbers and the sigils, and that's it. Dude, we do not have much sacrificing to do either. Yeah. So we can either block it, get bees, sacrifice, or sacrifice. Prospector, should be easy. These bee players shake my head. Dude, the bees are a good card. I'm starting to realize that warrens are good as well because you get free blood from playing them. And of course you get the multiplicative effect of the card generating more cards, which is really nice. So I mean, I think, I think we're just gonna do this kind of immediately. And turn. Could have played the Mantis, I guess. It would have killed the pack meal next turn anyways. Saved us one, it would have saved, a, saved us one play. No, it wouldn't have. Play it yet. I don't want to play it yet. I like this turn. Kind of. Maybe. Hmm. The wolf cub, the boulder can block it. We 
kill the card pack. Squirrel, skunk. Boulder blocks. Mantis will die next turn, it's not a huge problem. Corpse Maggots will get played when the Mantis dies, also not a big problem. Actually, Corpse Maggot will kill the wolf, so that's fine. The Nor says, I wish this mod contained the deck two archetypes as well, like energy and uh, magic. I never, never did the magic deck because I don't know how to use magic. Kill, attack, kill the mole, attack the wolf, move, die, replaced with corpse maggot, corpse maggot kills the wolf, you move down, hit for face, we'll take three, kill you, should be fine. Even if another card comes down, I think we'll be fine. Dead, dead. Cub. It's gonna be a couple more turns, but I think I'm fine with that. We have plenty of squirrels. And we can actually play the a lethal great white next turn. Since we have a rabbit in hand. We won't be overkilling, but it'll get the fight over with. I don't want to add any cards to the deck, so I think I'm fine with that. Otherwise, if I wait a turn, what'll happen? Can I play two expensive units? No. All right, in that case, Actually, this Great White is a little bit more overkill damage. We'll get four bones off of it. Get him! Yeah, I don't have enough energy to play anything else on the board. I could play a skunk. Dun. Dun, dun. I would also like to have more things that have the deck two archetypes, I think. There was some good stuff there. Like, I had a lot of fun with the energy deck. It was good. Ant Queen. We can't beehive it. Elk costs one, not very strong. I have to take a card, though. Flying Ant, one energy. Dude, we don't even have a totem, I'm realizing. Ant Queen, I think, is expensive. Too expensive. But it does synergize with ants, should we go that route. Yeah, I want to buy Skip. I guess Elk Fawn, if you play, a, if you play around it, it's a 2-4. Two, 2-4 two four. Two four for one energy, it's not bad. And the uh, the fledgling sigil is also not bad to have. We could put it inside of something. We could also put ants inside of great white. Nah. Flying great white, probably not necessary. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take the elk just for the stats that it gives us. But it's not not what I wanted, of course. But maybe we can remove the card. I keep taking a drink during that cutscene. I want this to autoplay. I see a card duplicator, and I think we should just beeline that. Maybe get a card and a totem, although we will hit the trapper, which I would prefer not to do. So maybe we want to go left. There's a there's two campfires and two card additions. But it is a duplicator. And we have three sharks. 
I mean, honestly, I kind of want to duplicate the rabbit. It's a solid energy card. Could also go right, gain some items. I mean, gaining one pelt is not the worst. I'll probably not buy another pelt. Rabbit is a solid goat. Oops. He is a solid goat. Because we have three great whites and a grizzly. Three great whites and a grizzly in the deck. A beehive, a rabbit. One more rabbit means we can play four out of our three cards using the uh, sacrifice sigil. It's not bad. Also, if there's a mushroom on the right side here, we can go to it from this path. I'll do it, I'll do it. I want some items too. I'm... I want, I want items. Kin, blood, sigils. It's another one of those literally can't fail the sigils, so. Moose, buck, black goat, bloodhound. Another goat? Unkillable. When it perishes, a copy is added to your hand with ant spawner. This is an infinite ant generator. Is that something that we care about? Infinite ant generator that generates ants that go into my hand? I do like the black goat that just buffs adjacent units. But an unkillable card is honestly fine. I think. Unkillable ants, the ants will push as well. Diminutive Jerry says infinite ant glitch. Well, it's not really a glitch, but when the when Moose Buck comes back to hand, it will keep ant spawner. One piece of bread left out on the counter. <laughs> God damn. One drop of honey on the ground. That's how you get ants. I mean, if we dupe the rabbit, we'll have another card we can play. Kind of like it. We're kind of going an expensive deck. I know we started out as a free deck, but now we're expensive. So we could go for items or try to get a totem. Great White has no type. Grizzly has no type. B. Mantis. Our bees. Moose Buck, Elk Fawn, our deer. Gek is a lizard. This is the third act as well. I think I'm just gonna go for items. I think it's the third act anyways. Yes, I will take this. Um, dude, hand goat, kind of like hand goat. I don't think we have any pieces of any totems. Kingfisher, Kingfisher, Coyote. All right, well. This is kind of what we wanted, right? They need more types. I think we just need... I think it would be nice if everything was a type. Like, make a fish type. And then Kingfisher could be a bird and a fish or something. I know it's not actually a fish, but I mean, it goes under the water or it goes under the ground, I think. Give me more types. Gek. You know, uh... Ah, oh, it doesn't even hit him. I mean, it's fine. We do a lot of damage. I'll play a Gek, and I'll probably, probably play the B as well, now that I think about it. Kill you. It'll move next turn. That's fine. Play the B. Oh, right. Moose Buck doesn't lift over the shoulder. It just pushes. Different mechanic. We're definitely lethaling, so there you go. I guess we could buy a card, but I don't like buying cards. We'll buy the knife. No, we have a full inventory. Q. 
Can't afford a golden pelt. Do I want a wolf pelt? No. There's no guarantee we're gonna get to the trapper. I didn't see one. Great white moose buck. Yeah, we'll probably dupe. This is a weird one, but I'm probably gonna dupe the rabbit. It's a good sacrifice card. Actually, I think this costs energy. Yeah. Hopefully it stays as a duplicator. Maybe it can get damage, I don't know. Bifurcated, you dick! <laughs> Come on, bifurcated rabbit! I drew all my free cards. How could you? Well, um, on the bright side, beehive is gonna block a couple of shots. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Um, gotta kill the mantis, which we can do. We'll do it with a rabbit. The bee is not annoying. We'll counteract this bee. Play the rabbit. Play the great white. Make sure we don't take any more damage. We're gonna take one. It's a lot of bees, but I think we're fine. We're gonna hit six, seven. Not quite lethal, but still pretty good. The beehive's not doing anything, so we should probably put the elk here, I think. Although it's still gonna die to the mantis. I could put it here. And the beehive will block one damage. Yeah. There you go. Hitting for six buys us a lot of time. And bones. Hey, okay, another bee. Lots of bees. Another great white! Oh, you shouldn't have! I think we're fine? We're not dying, right? I didn't actually run the math. Okay. <laughs> Should have probably run the math, but that's okay. Hey, a mantis god. I'll play you. Well, he's not a mantis god. He's just a god. Okay. There we go. That was a tough fight. But we got it done. sure we have no cards without sigils, but I could be wrong about that. Another great white with spikes and it creates ants that also burrow and have spikes. Pronghorn that hits in the middle gains strength, so it does three damage, or kingfisher summons a rabbit and gets played for free. I mean, I think we just want more sharks. Now, card removal on the left, plus we get a card on the left. I like that. And we also get a totem. We could upgrade a card here, but... Maybe we can make the rabbit do some damage. 
I mean, it's it's a terrible card. If we can make the rabbit do damage bifurcated, it might be might actually be a good unit. Um, but we might just upgrade the mantis if we get an attack there. I'm gonna go for one totem. My first one. Wolves, deer, or blocking. Well, we have deer, so I will take the deer head. There's a mushroom on the right. Melding some sharks would be hilarious. And we get to avoid adding a card. And if I use one item, we don't get a pack rat. That wasn't bad. Thank you, Great Whites. Wow, I actually can't play you. And this is like the fight where I need to play the Great Whites too. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, as mentioned, use one item. I will take my sick ass rabbit And we will grab it. And we will great white. I guess we'll uh, play you on the left here. Do four damage initially. Could get an ant out, and you know, an ant killing a bee is not bad. But I think the elk. I think the elk fawn would be better. There you go. Yeah, so this worker ant doesn't get the buffs from the sigils. Ants don't get the buffs. But bees do. It's weird. I don't know why. Okay, Mantis is dead. Mantis is dead. We are in a great position. A great position! So much better than we've had in the past. <laughs> Um, honestly, block for me. Not like it matters, you're dead. Do, 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 do. That's probably the boss. Flying ant, meal, worm, beaver, porcupine, kingfisher, adder, Eelworm, ringworm, adder, river snapper, flying ant. I guess. <sighs> nice beaver. I mean, what would we? I guess beavers that beavers with dams that grow in strength would be weird if we can make it work. It is a good blocker. I like it. I don't think we're gonna have the opportunity to do anything with it, but I do like it. And... What would I do left? Yo, I think we remove the rabbit. I think we remove the rabbit, get a totem. for elk fawn slash moose buck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could make one really good shark. Hey, snail god onion, welcome back. And thank you very much for the resub, by the way. Hello, kaka. I said hello instead of kaka. What's wrong with me? Kaka. 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 Ka 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 I'm doing this specifically because no time to think in chat said big shark. 
And we've done big sharks before, so let's have an even bigger shark. There you go. <laughs> Why not? Less likely to die to spikes, I guess. Now we just have one bad rabbit in the deck. Just don't worry about that one card. Luckily, this is not a bad fight. I forget what changes. Oh, this is what changes on difficulty three. We get ravens and bait buckets. Ew! That sucks. Boom, boom. Talk about sucking. This freaking hand sucks. What the heck? I think I'm gonna steal his raven. Rabbit will carry. Luckily I didn't draw the rabbit. Like if I play the mantis, it'll summon a shark. The raven's gonna come in. It's gonna do three damage if I play the gek. The gek won't be able to kill it next turn. We'll still have to do one damage. So I could let the gek kill it along with the mantis being played here, but it'll summon the shark. I'd have to put something in front of the shark to kill it. I could put the beehive down there. It'll block it for a turn, but it does cost one energy regardless. So I think I'd rather just steal the raven, not play anything, which seems weird, but I guess what we should do is at least play the gek. The sack, or to re reduce some of the damage of the raven. I guess we are tied right now, next turn anyways. That's a great white. That's a freaking great white. Elk fawn. Bum bum. Okay. We're going to steal the raven. And we're going to give him a beehive. Which, he, why didn't he steal my card? <laughs> what, was he not supposed to take my card? He's just menacingly uh, poking me with his stick. Um, I feel like I'm, I don't understand what happened there. What the heck? Okay. He's still trying to steal my bee, is, what, what is happening? Why are you stealing my bee? Okay, I'm gonna play a squirrel. Okay, thank you. I don't know what you're doing, but please steal my squirrel. Go fish. I mean, we're killing the great white, but we'll... Actually, we're not gonna die in the process. You get a grizzly. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It was weird. Because I, I was expecting him to steal my card and then his shark wouldn't spawn, but it spawned instead. Oh, I'll take a mealworm. He's just a little confused. Okay, we have no pelts. We don't have a totem. It would only be useful for the elks. We could merge. We could put a elk fawn in a beaver and so the dens will grow stronger and move on occasion. It doesn't seem that bad actually. We could also get an item, but we already have two. I think elk fawn into beaver is funny, because if the dams grow in strength, they could, you know, do some damn damage. Can we do that merge? Yeah, we should be able to. Unless you have, unless actually, the other way is better, I think. Beaver into elk fawn? 
because then the dam should get the buffs, but it's a cheaper play. So beaver. Elk fawn? I feel like that's right. It should still get move and strength gain, I think. Just don't give me the bifurcated rabbit turn one, please. <laughs> Give me rabbit, and then give me also uh, my ultra white. All right, take two. Well, we didn't get the ultra one. We got the elk fawn. Okay, amalgam and mole man are here and here now. We can put out an elk fawn and a moose buck and have the entire field sorted. So let's do that. It'll be goat. We're gonna be almost play our entire hand. Let's make sure we do this correctly. I do want him here just to kill the amalgam next turn, I think. And then we'll see what happens with this Elk Fawn play. Yes, there we go. I like it. Oh, you know what? Mole Man is stuck anyways. Oh, you're gonna murder my cards, you jerk! No. We'll, we're gonna do four damage? That's not enough. Hold on, 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 hold on. I think he's gonna kill my, hand, my entire hand. If I... Mm, one damage, Mole Man. Two damage, Mole Man. Kills Mantis God. Hit for one, hit for three. We'll hit for four. It's still fine. We've got the ability to summon a Grizzly as soon as we want it. Because Beehive into Grizzly means we can play it. So, like, even if our board gets wiped, it's not terrible. It's not what I want, but it's not terrible. And you know what? Moose Buck is coming back. Flight. Unfortunately, Flight doesn't change anything because Mole Man has Mighty Leap, so he will block the flying regardless. <laughs> Magnetic chips. That's how he cheats. And you can't sack the the goddamn. <laughs> I just noticed. So I, I'm I'm actually kind of like okay with this turn because we kill we wipe the board basically except for the the amalgam but the amalgam we can kill next turn anyways. It's a little loud. Um, I think Windows adjusted my sound settings. I'm gonna have to adjust this in post. Sorry for it being loud. Nugget. Let's see what happens in phase two. God, we have so many bones. This is where we might want to use flight. Hopefully he, I think he wipes the board and then summons trees. Nah, he keeps the amalgams. Yes? Oh, there we go. Um. So if we fly, yeah, we have to use the flight on this turn, but this is why we saved it. We can kill him. Stump will not block us. Because if we don't play flight, I can play both ants with two squirrels. It'll cost me four, my draw on this turn and four cards, and we're not actually killing anything. We're just going to weaken them and take them down to one HP. That's not ideal. Hey, Cody. Hey, Tamara. So yeah, I think what we want to do is just, uh, flight. And 
then. You're dead. We will have to fight the moon for real. Which really just means uh, Moose Buck is just gonna live forever. Who wants to buck forever? Oh yes, it still works just fine. Oh good, my uh, amazing rabbit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the rabbit into orbit. I've never done that before. There's my amazing great white. Eight, four, gets stronger, burrows so it can't get hit, summons ants, has spikes. All right, what happens? There it is. <laughs> My rabbit got pulled into orbit. Um, I guess we'll just take another squirrel. I got so many bones. There we go. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, Great White doesn't even take damage from this, so it just lasts forever on the, on the board. Yeah. Him just chill, I guess. Enjoy your victory, my friend. Oh, I will. Thank you. I have so many bones. Hey, you know what? Fun deck. Very thin early, <laughs> and actually still relatively thin at the end. And we had a lot of expensive cards and energy generation. And that's it. We had a couple of cards that we didn't need in the deck, but we were forced to take them in some fashion. I hated it, but I think we played that one correctly. Last night, I brought the disc with me on a walk around the seawall and was this close to just chucking it out into the water. If I'm right, the Carnoffle code is still out there and the machine is, incredibly, still ready to accept it. Destroy the disc, no one finds the code, and no one can blow up half of Europe, right? But I saw an otter, which made me think of Leshy. Maybe we need the code to disarm the machine. Could that be right? I can't be sure. I went home. That's all part of the ARG thing, when you know... Well, there's a, a, a theory about what the story actually is, which might have some impact on things. This is a... Four blood card? Pelt lice. Is it rare? It might be rare due to the sheen, I don't know. But a four blood card does not seem like a good card, but the sigil's really nice. I can see taking the card just to merge it later. And we have Hodag. <laughs> when Hodag attacks and the enemy perishes, this card gains one power. So a two cost card, one five can gain strength. Not bad. A lot of times you're killing something with one HP when you play a card and then it's going to have a two five. And then, you know, it's two five for two is not bad. I mean, uh, River Turtle or whatever it is, is a one six for two. I'd rather have a two five, I think. No new deck unlocked. I guess we have one more victory to go. Actually, probably a couple more victories to go. Yeah, at least two more. So we'll probably unlock the next deck next and then use it for the final challenge. Speaking of final challenge, we have not unlocked the final challenge. I guess we're unlocking that one next as well. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Inscription, Casey's Mod.